This is the Two Minute Warning. Local news, local coverage. Lieutenant Aaron Watada of the Striker Brigade at Fort Lewis spoke publicly earlier in the week. You may know him better as the soldier who is refusing to go to Iraq because he believes the war is both illegal and immoral. A rally of support was held for Watada at the Associated Ministries in Tacoma on Thursday. Many showed up expressing their support for the soldier. I am extremely um, proud of what this young man is doing. Well, I think it's really important what he's doing. It just makes me sad and I think more people need to stand up and um, yeah, just not do what uh, they think is not right. Watada's obligation to serve in the Army runs until December of this year, and by refusing to deploy, he could face charges of desertion. Because of our wet winter and spring, the fire season could be worse than in previous years. Federal land managers say that two wet winters in a row have encouraged lots of growth in trees, plants, and the like. Now with the plants drying out due to spring, it will create a lot of energy for these fires to burn. The wildfire outlook says that this month's weather will be a key factor in how bad the fires will be. However, the mountain snowpack, the big forest fires, should be delayed until late summer. The female who stabbed the cab driver on June 2nd is in more hot water. After she stabbed the cabbie, she abandoned him, drove the stolen taxi cab for a while, then abandoned it and fled on foot. She was later captured. The suspect's bail has been set at a million dollars. This could be due to her long rap sheet as she has been labeled as a persistent offender. This past Thursday, the Board of Regents at the University of Washington voted for a 7% tuition hike. Some regents express concern on how this will affect students. Others proclaim that this will be better in the long run. Although the students will be paying more, the staff will be paid more. The 7% hike will raise faculty pay 2%, professional staff and librarians pay by 3%, and teachers and assistants will get a 2.6% raise. This has been your Two Minute Warning. This is the Two Minute Warning. Local news, local coverage. On Tuesday, March 6th, Governor Chris Gregoire made a visit to Fredrickson Boeing on Canyon Road in Puyallup. This trip was for one of her many trade missions. She's trying to reach out to the hard workers in the state to talk about her mission of better education and the importance of community. Now we're saying, let's go to the community and ask the community. And you can see what's happening in this community. And you can see its potential to grow. She also took a tour of the plant to get a better idea of what Boeing is doing. Gregoire is hopeful for the future because of improving communities in Washington, such as Walla Walla. If I said to you, Walla Walla, Washington, uh, 10 years ago, you would have said what to me? Onions and jail. Today I say Walla Walla, Washington, and you say wine. They have done an amazing job because they sat down and said, this is where we want to go. And that's what they've done, and they've done it unbelievably well. So that's what we're trying to do to create more jobs. Our governor was also very happy to joke about her controlling new puppy. Uh, and oh, by the way, we did take him to disciplinary school, <laughs> right? And I thought, this will do it. So we take him into disciplinary school, very bright breed, star, star of the class, star of the class. And I'm like, well, yeah, we, think we took care of this. We go out the front door, and it's kind of like, a uh, lady, that was in there, this is out here. I'm not doing it anymore. The date for Lieutenant Aaron Watada's second court-martial has been announced. Watada is being court-martialed for refusing to deploy to Iraq and conduct unbecoming an officer. His first court-martial ended in a mistrial about three weeks ago. The new trial will begin on July 16th. Watada faces up to six years in prison if convicted. This has been the Two Minute Warning. Hello, I'm Stephanie Gary, and this is Stockwatch for Monday, March 26. Here's a look at today's closing numbers. Dow Jones had a bit of a rough day. It went down 11 points, finishing at 12,400. NASDAQ gained some ground today. It went up 6 points, ending at 2,455. S&P 500 also gained instead of Dow Jones. It gained 1 point, closing at 1,437. And now here are your local stocks. Amazon went up 3 cents, while Boeing went down 15 cents. Costco dropped 4 cents, Intel climbed up 2 cents, and Microsoft gained 20 cents. Nordstrom went down 53 cents, while Real Networks is back down to $8.
Starbucks went up 53 cents, whereas Washington Mutual dropped 66 cents. And finally, Weyerhaeuser decreased 62 cents. This has been today's Stock Watch. I'm Stephanie Gary. Have a fabulous day. Hello, I'm Stephanie Gary, and this is Stock Watch for Monday, April 9th. Here's a look at today's closing numbers. Dow Jones is almost back to 12,600. It gained 8 points with 31 points to go before reaching its former peak. NASDAQ slipped down 2 points before the close, but still is at a healthy 2,469. S&P 500 proved slowly but steady works. It only gained 85 cents, but still stays above 1,400. Here are your local stocks. Amazon lost 2 cents, while Boeing is expecting turbulence. Costco dropped 6 cents, Intel rose 52 cents, and Microsoft upgraded 2 cents. Nordstrom went up 2 cents, Real Networks hasn't been above $10 since February. Starbucks and Wamu are dropping like flies, Warehouser sprouted new life by gaining 45 cents. This has been today's Stock Watch, I'm Stephanie Geary, have a fabulous day. Hello and good morning. I'm Stephanie Gary with your South Sound Weather Report on location at Bates Technical College this chilly Wednesday. Let's have a peek at what's in store for us today. Keep your coats handy. It'll be mostly cloudy all day with highs of 36 around noon. Those will stay steady throughout the entire day. Highs of 35 coming about 5 p.m. A peek at our five-day forecast shows a chance of rain Thursday through Saturday. Imagine that with highs in the low to mid 40s. Overnight lows will be around freezing so watch out for that ice. On Sunday, it looks like chances of snow with highs of 43. Maybe another winter wonderland for the South Sound. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm Stephanie Gary with your South Sound weather. Have a fabulous day and stay warm. Good afternoon. This is your South Sound weather report. Temperatures running in the mid 50s. Oh, we're seeing some sun breaks, uh, but I'm going to expect by 5 p.m. and into the evening hours tomorrow, we could see some more rain as that upper level system sits off the coast and moves in uh, for the evening hours tonight and into tomorrow. Now, your five day forecast looking pretty good. Friday, rain showers with occasional sun breaks. Those temperatures are really balmy, running in the mid 60s. We could even see by Saturday and Sunday more increased sun. Uh, and less clouds, which means a good weekend, a good time to get outside and enjoy the weather while it lasts, because by, by Monday, we could see more cloudy skies with a chance of rain in the evening hours. Now, by Tuesday, again, those partly cloudy skies could return, and we could see some more sun. So uh, just keep it, keep it tuned here. We could watch a trend for more sun. Uh, we'll let you know as it happens. That's take a look at your South Sound Weather Report. I'm Sip Callahan. We'll see you.